I'm Stephen Exaros. I'm the Gold Star Father of United States Marine Corporal Nicholas Exaros. He was just one of that, uh, one of the thousands really that was affected at a young age by the attack on America. Two planes apparently crashed into each tower. At the young age of 12, after watching the horror of 9-11, Nick Ixaros made the decision to serve his country as a Marine. Five years later, he graduated from Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School, headed to boot camp and eventually off to Iraq. The oldest child of Steve and Lisa Ixaros, Nick was always the protector, a big brother who stood up for those in need. He loved life. like. But he was a type that wouldn't sit on the sidelines if something was wrong. This one is our family. Yarmouth's son. native son made it back to U.S. soil safely after surviving a suicide truck bomb attack in 2008, where two Marines died while saving Nick's life and dozens of others. Ixaros later volunteered to switch platoons to head back to war, this time in Afghanistan. His family drove to Camp Lejeune for the send-off, not knowing it would be their final goodbye. So I gave him that last hug and he crushed me. And I, and I was, he's so big and strong, you know, and, and I, I said, Nick, you take care of your Marines, you know, and you come home to me. And I gave him a coin and prayer coin and I put it in his hand, you know. That hug, the last between this father and son. Nick called his family from the war zone in Afghanistan in early July of 2009. He told his father things were really bad. He was tired and wanted to come home to the Cape. He told his mother not to worry. Don't worry about me, mom. Everything's kind of fine. Don't worry about me. I'm living the dream. And that was his last words. We've, we've never heard his voice we've never seen his body and three weeks later he came home in an in a American flag draped coffin A package from his dad mailed July 23rd, 2009, the day Nick was killed by a roadside bomb returned in the mail months later. That prayer coin found in Nick's pocket by his fellow Marines while trying to save his life. So I know that God carried Nick and uh, was with him when he passed. Uh, they were rolling their convoy uh, in the Garmshire district and uh, rolled over him. An IED of probably about 50 or 70 pounds of uh, homemade explosives and took out the entire truck. Eamon Shoemaker served in the same battalion with Nick in Afghanistan. After 9-11, when he was just 14, he knew he wanted to give back. He graduated from Whitman Hanson High School and, like Nick, joined the Marines. Young Americans had the opportunity to, you know, to, to give back and to, you know, to, to serve the American people. Um, that, to me, was one of the biggest things that drew me to it. Shoemaker continues to serve, now wearing the uniform of the Boston police. He keeps Nick close to his heart and carries on his mission every day while on patrol in South Boston, forever bonded with his Marine brother who never made it home. For all the good things that he did while he was here on this earth, um, he was still called home to do great things. And the impact and the ripple effect that his life had you know, it, it just seems fitting to, to honor their sacrifice in that way and to continue to be here as an asset um, for American citizens. So this is where we come. Nick's final resting place, the National Cemetery in Bourne, where he's buried with 80,000 other heroes who served our country. Coins cover his grave, pennies from visitors, a quarter from someone who was with him in Afghanistan when he made the ultimate sacrifice. It's a place for a dad to have some quiet moments with his oldest son. What do you say to Nick? Sometimes I say nothing and I just sit.
I feel regret. I feel guilt. I feel proud that he served his country, living the dream and always faithful. Since 9-11, more than 300 Massachusetts natives have lost their lives while serving our country. Many others were wounded and suffer from PTSD. The Exaros family and other Gold Star families work to help those veterans and carry on their loved ones' missions in many different ways. Kathy Curran, WCVB News Center 5.